What up guys, Chance here, um, don't want any to hear noise, I am doing dishes, so, um, I'm just sitting here, you know, hanging out, um, you guys are probably wondering by the live stream title, what is going on, well, let me tell you, I met this girl named Wicked Princess, you know, really cool girl, really nice, you know, we got to know her and, you know, eventually got with her. Well, she's sitting there declaiming to be the niece of ICP's Violent J. And keep in mind, I have friends that are in the underground. I have, you know, people who are connected to those guys ultimately. Well... This morning, like last, or no, not this morning, but last night, I ran a message by, you know, Psychopathic Records, Twisted. Because, you know, they know Violent J, they're the ones that, who initially started, or helped to found, you know, Psychopathic Records. Well, I messaged him last night through Twitter. I got a hold of Jimmy Madrox and he told him, hey, you know, like, when you can, you know, message me. Like, it's really important because I became, and the way I got in close with Jimmy Madrox is actually through Twitter. You know, I'm always sending him stuff, you know, like, always commenting and saying what's up. And, you know, they're really nice guys overall. Like, I love them. They're great guys to be around. Well, I messaged him last night, and I get a message back this morning, you know, saying, what's up, like, what's going on, man? Well, I messaged them, they got a hold of Violent J, and turns out the bitch was a fake. Like, this chick who I had fallen madly in love with, you know, was a fake. She literally lied to me through her teeth, right to my face, you know, telling me, hey, you know, this, this, and this, and blah, 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 like, you know, you know, related to this person, I did this, and I did that, and it's like, okay, well, the way I found out initially she was a fake is I got a hold of my buddy Zach, aka Possessed One, or Be Easy, because he's got his a ton of connections in the underground. Well, sorry about that, guys. Zoom this out of the the dish rack inside the class only for whatever reason. Well, I sat there and you know. I told Zach about it, and he's like, dude, she's a fake. And I'm like, well, how do you know? And that's when he filled me in on the information. That's how I found out, you know, who their nieces really were, and everything like that. And it's sad, too, because this girl's a really nice girl, you know, she just lost her eight-year-old son. Like, literally, like, her eight-year-old son. In a car accident, and I do feel bad for her for that. I really do. But, you know, for her to sit there and lie to me about something major like that, like, really, do you think I'm gonna believe anything you say after that? Like, do you really think I'm gonna believe a fucking word you say after you lie to my face like that? Like, seriously, dude? So, if you guys see this chick, you know, don't add her, don't talk to her, you know, go in and report her. Like, report her and do whatever you can because, and one, another way I found out she's a fake is actually on my own. It's my own doing. I set up a little trap. I made it seem like I had this nephew who was... 
you know, five, six years old. Who wanted a picture of her and her uncle violent together because she was, you know, this huge fan. Well, I come to find out that the minute I asked her, she flipped shit and got pissed. Now tell me this, what person, if you're for real, if you're connected to somebody famous, like why would you flip out over pictures? Like why would you get mad and flip out like that? That just leads me to believe that you're a fake right off the bat. And you know, it kills me because you know, like I didn't want to do it. But, at the same time, you know, I had to do what I had to do. Do I have any regrets about doing that? No. Do I feel bad about doing it? Yes. Because it sucks. I shouldn't have to do stuff like that, you know what I mean? And like I said, guys, don't mind me. I'm sitting here doing dishes while I'm talking to you guys. I hope y'all don't mind. But, you know, talking to you guys actually gives me something to do while I'm, you know, doing this. But yeah, tell me if that adds up to you guys. Like, you know, Sorry about that, guys. But, if you're related to somebody famous like that, why would you get pissed off over a picture? Like, that makes no sense. And then another lie she told me that I kind of figured was a lie right from the off was, you know, the fact that she was doing, you know, like, I had made a meme for her, of her, and it was supposedly going viral. When I looked it up, not a trace. And also this guy, Crow, you know, Wicked Crow, she was supposedly... You know, talking to him, was really good friends with him, managing him. And I was like, alright, you know, I'll look him up. He doesn't have a single thing except SoundClick. And his SoundClick hasn't been active for almost over a year. And you guys know me, I have every form of social media. So if this guy was as huge as she made him out to be, why wouldn't he have a Reverb Nation? Why wouldn't he have Facebook? Why wouldn't he have SoundCloud or YouTube? Or even a MySpace? Because I don't use it that much, but yes, I do have MySpace. I don't use it, but I have it just in case. But what I'll do, guys, is I am going to post the link to this chick's profile in the description up there for you guys to check out. And what I need you all to do is I need you guys to report this girl, like, everywhere. Yes, she is a real person, because I have video chatted with her multiple times. You know, we did do FaceTime. But, I need you guys' help on this. I need you guys to help bring this chick to justice. I need you guys to help bust her, because last time I checked... It was a federal crime to impersonate somebody. I don't know if the rules still apply to that nature. I don't know, and I do apologize for the blurriness. It's because there's a light outside. Like, I literally have you guys sitting in my kitchen window right now. But, seriously, like... Why would, you know, I don't understand the point of lying to somebody about who you are. Like, me, y'all already know, I'm real. Like, if you guys want to know about me, hey, here I am. Let me know what's up. Like, you know, I tell you guys everything. I'm honest with you guys, I'll tell you guys who I am. You know, my very real backstory, my true life backstory, my true story. Of how I came to be. I don't sit there and fake who I am. I'll tell you who I'm connected to and not connected to. 
so for this chick to come off and do that, it's like, really? Like, why would you sit there and lie about who you are? So, yeah. And needless to say, I was very pissed off at the fact that she lied to me the entire time. And then also, there's the deal of, you know, party line. I didn't like the fact that she does security for party lines because I know how they can get. Because, you know, back in the day when I ran with Killer Clown Sounds with Eric Scrubwell, you know, I did do party lines with them from time to time and we had fun. I'll admit that. But at the same time, I know how people can get on there. And for her to sit there and say, oh, I want to appear single, but really I'm not. I'm sorry, but if you're going to be with me, like, you know, like that, if we're going to date, why would you want to appear single unless you have something to hide? Like, you tell me that makes any sense. If you're sitting there, and you're with somebody who is famous, and they want to appear single, but not be single, whether you're famous or not, don't matter. Obviously, you got something to hide. Hey, hey sis, what's up? Don't mind me, I'm sitting here doing dishes. Sorry, I was looking to see how many people were watching. But, for you to sit there and do that shit is like... I don't get, like... Why people feel they have to lie about who they are. I mean, y'all already know me. Every single one of you guys on here knows me. And y'all know that I don't lie about stuff I've done. Or even lie about who I am. Like, that's just it's stupid. It really is stupid, like, do you not, like, did she not think that I was going to catch on and that I wouldn't start asking the right questions? I mean, you know, and that's just like, you know, with me, anybody asks me, you know, if I really am who I am, like, you know, as far as, like, my music goes, <laughs> Smart ass. But, like, you know, anybody who asks me for a picture, you know, as far as music wise, you know, I do have a lot of fans who are into the whole Shadow Blade thing. And whenever they ask me, you know, if I am who I really am or if they want a picture of me, I'll send them a picture. I don't mind. I have no problem sending a fan a picture of myself. Like, I don't mind that at all. Like, in fact, I actually enjoy it. Like, it shows me that, you know, people actually care. <laughs> Ooh, yummy smoothie. What kind of smoothie? In all honesty, though, like, why, like, I don't understand why people feel they need to lie about who they are. Like, I just don't understand it. Like, if you're gonna sit there and, you know, do that, it's like, you may as well not even fucking be on Facebook. Because that makes very real, honest people like myself look like complete shit. Like, you don't see me going around saying, oh, I'm this huge big shot, and I do this, I do that. No, like, I am real about everything I do. And for somebody like her to just up and be like, oh, I'm the niece of this person, when you know I have people that are 
connected to those guys to a certain extent. And plus, if she was their niece, it would have been posted on the official ICP website. Like, if you look at their official fan base site, where they post everything from family issues and their personal lives, it would have been posted on there. So yeah, needless to say, my morning went from really good to not so much shitty as it is funny at the fact that she fell for my tricks. And if you guys are wondering where I learned all these tricks at, I actually learned it watching the TV show Catfish. Ooh, what flavor smoothie are you making? And I do apologize if there is lag on your guys' end. I don't know if it's my end, your end, what. I don't know, guys. I do apologize. But like, why somebody would sit there ultimately and lie about who they are, I don't understand. Cause you guys know I film my everyday life. I show you guys my life every day. Like, I show you guys what I do daily, what I'm about daily. And basically I let you guys into my lives to see the real me. Like, that's what I do. I show you guys that I'm for real. So, for somebody fake like that to come along, it's like, really? I mean, does it hurt? Of course it does. The fact that she sat there and lied to me? Like, really? And the fact that she sat right there to my face and blatantly lied to my face is like, what in the actual fuck are you doing? It's like she didn't think she was going to get caught. Which I find hysterical. Especially claiming one of the biggest family names in underground music. Like, really? You really didn't think you were going to get caught, did you? 